Hello everybody, and welcome back to The Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, my name is Dizzy, and we are going to be jumping back into Old Hirsch, uh, this wonderful German night slash evening, uh, where we are, oh, not where we left off. Uh, yeah, the last thing we did was to, uh, First travel over to the old shooting range and have a go blasting some targets, which I was sort of quite happy with overall. Um, I'm not going to sort of say that I was a legendary marksman, but I don't feel like I embarrass myself. Uh, this for those who weren't here last time, let's set this 100 meters, grab out gun. There we go. Bang. Like that. Uh, yes, yeah, so today we will not be carrying on with our uh, fox mission. Partly because it's not the right time of day for it, I don't believe. Let's have a look. Look at these foxy zones. Where are they? Oh, that feed zone might still be going. Okay, we're going to we're going to have one look at this foxy need zone and see if we can blow away any foxes that might be there. Cause uh, this quest has been eluding us, but we've got the whole night ahead of us and no particular need to. Uh, oh, we do need to fix our kit, which means. Whoa! Nelly, calm down. Uh, which means we need to figure out do we have enough ammo for everything? Uh, we can do with more king bullets. No, yeah, these ones. There we go. Okay, uh, we are switching on our torch. Getting out our night vision binoculars. Lovely. Let's see what zone this thing has to offer for us. And we'll be on our way in pretty much record time, if only because. Uh, if only because nothing has changed since the last time we were in game. Yes, foxes are tricksy little blighters to find. Uh, exceptionally so, and have so far been mostly eluding us. Uh, it's not helped by the fact that I have to be in this quite small area, really, like most of this area is lake. Uh, and there's not, as you can see, there's not great sight lines for a lot of it. Uh, and on top of all of that, we have to shoot them from a pre-prepared position in a in a tent in a ground blind. That's not my ideal sort of scenario. And in fact, if I show us our progress, you can see uh, our progress is we have no progress. <laughs> so, oh, and we also have this horrible, horrible hill to deal with as well. Aren't we lucky? I hate hills in this game. Because you'd think that was something that you could climb over, wouldn't you? But no. No, you cannot. Not for the life of you. And so you have to jump, which of course makes enormous amounts of noise. So let us pray that no foxes that may have been there might have heard that. I don't know exactly how far away jumping can be heard. I think it's pretty far. And of course, because it's night, we have to be on night vision mode. Which in turn means that we can't necessarily see things quite as well as we'd hope. Because we have to look at everything through our binoculars. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Oh, it's rough. Destination is in sight. Ah. Hmm. Here's a problem. There is a fox between us and it. Because those are fox needs own tracks. And they're showing up within about 40 meters of us. I think I'm actually going to do this whole. 80 meters on my belly to try and avoid spooking them. Because uh, we need to be in that. If we're not in that, it doesn't count for the mission. We can shoot a fox for sure, but it doesn't count for the mission. So I have to kind of sneak around. Try not to spook this guy who has way better hearing than me. And way better night vision than me, and the ability to like smell me and stuff. So I have to sneak around to that, past this guy, and then hope that I can see him from this tent. Or that if I can't see him from this tent, I can attract him to the tent. All this without actually knowing exactly where he is. Apart from somewhere up there, where the footsteps are coming from. <laughs> this is not ideal. Oh, this is super not ideal. And at the end of it, I have to actually successfully shoot him and kill him anyway, which is not a guarantee. If we make it, it'll be worth it. There might be a couple, actually. I think I can hear a couple of sets of footsteps. Oh, this hill. Oh, this hill might, might be our downfall. I told you I hate hills in this game. The good thing is that foxes, not being very tall, will find it difficult to draw a line of sight to us over any of this vegetation. Whereas something like a moose, if a moose was stood there, it, it could see us. Because it's blooming eight feet tall or whatever. Right, we are going... this is our closest, I think, approach to the fox. This point right here. Careful not to get caught on the hitboxes of the vegetation. But the good news is, we haven't spooked him yet. So we're obviously doing something right. Oh, this is a bit of a noisy bush. It, the bottom right says that we're not making any noise. So I'm going to trust that we're not making any noise. We've covered 30 meters. It's probably been in-game. Yeah, in-game it's been a while. <laughs> There's more need zone tracks down there, which might mean another fox in the area. Which, on the one hand, can give us two chances. On the other hand, means we're twice as likely to sp spook someone like that. And if we spook one, there's a chance that we spook all of them.
think we've gotten away with it. He doesn't seem to have left. I can still hear him. I hope y'all can still hear him too. Uh, I've only got like generic sound levels, so I can't tell exactly what you can and can't hear. Uh, oh, we have a chess score. Chess score says the email said, let's do some serious racing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't mind that. I, I didn't, I updated all the stream stuff and then didn't like send that off. Oh, I think I've just spooked that fox. Oh, there's one nearby somewhere. Um, but it's fine. Your productivity is safe with me, I promise. Oh, God. I'm just doing like a little slalom run between foxes. Trying not to scare any of them. Although this guy's going to end up being downwind of me. Which is not good. Not good at all. It's so far! It's so far! I don't even know how far it is exactly because it's not bring, giving me the distance. I guess it's about 30 meters. But that's so far. I'm not sure I've ever crawled 30 meters on my stomach IRL. I certainly don't think I've ever... Oh, shh, it's okay. I'm not here. Yeah, this is what I was worried about, was the uh, the foxes being between me and the hide. That eventuality has now come to pass. Oh, I can see it. Oh, I can see it. We're so close. We're so close. I hope to god there's still foxes around by the time I get into it. And where the hell is the door? I think the door's on the far side. Because I've approached this very badly. I can't hear the foxes moving anymore. I think I might have scared them all off. That's going to be a disaster if that's the case. Uh, I can see the door! I can see the door, we're nearly there! Okay, okay, okay. Of course, crawling through the bushes like this actually would make a lot more noise than just walking. When has that ever stopped us? Okay, right. Let's blow our caller, see if any of those foxes are still actually around. Russell, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't think they are, you know. I hate when he's put them all away. Oh, that's absolutely gutting. These foxes, man. These foxes. I'm trying to hunt them, and they... They are not standing for it. At all. Oh, I should have gone to this first, I guess. I was going to, but... Uh, I'm a fool and didn't. What a what a disappointing start to the stream. I made a total fool of myself flobbling around my belly like a fish out of water. And for nothing. Which way did it actually come from? I came from over that way, okay. Oh 
fish out of water into other sides, not their bellies. Okay, specifically like a flatfish out of water then. <laughs> there we go. I'll fix my metaphors with duct tape and prayers if I have to. Uh, or similes in this case. You're not torpedo shaped? I suppose I'm sort of loosely torpedo shaped. In that I'm longer than I am, or taller than I am, wide. And sort of vaguely rounded. Like, if you looked at me in, in silhouette, you wouldn't think, oh, that's a torpedo. But if I gave you my, like, dimensions of just, like, length, width, that was a weird answer. It was a weird answer, you know? Um... <laughs> Yeah, I think if you gave me my dimension, if I gave you my dimensions in terms of just like height, width, and then other width, depth, height, width, height, width, and depth. If you get, if I gave you those and said, could these be the measurements of a torpedo, or indeed the measurements of a fish? I don't think just from looking at them you could say no. That definitely couldn't be a torpedo slash fish. Okay, they're not here. They're not here. We had our chance and we squandered it. Oh dear. Right, what other missions have we got? Uh, Peter's hang turbines. Where are those? Those are over here. Where's the wind blowing? The wind is blowing south. Uh, not great for approaching the Peter's hang turbines at the moment. Or uh, just in Mullerveld in general, we've got a fine dropping things. I'm kind of happy to leave that be. Just because I mean with only those dimensions it would either have to be a box or a ceroid. <laughs> well, but what I mean is, you know, like the the maximum height width depth in, in, in the three axes. Uh, or we can go for animals that can't possibly run away. Which I feel like has promise. Or taking out a handgun. Do I have a handgun? I do have a handgun. That's just in this area in general. Yeah, the bounding box. That's that's the sensible technical term for what I was trying to say. Uh, let's go up to up here. So, Mullerveld. We need to find footprints and droppings from a boar up here. I feel like that shouldn't be too tricky. And in the process, I guess, let's journey on towards this lookout point which mm, is that the last lookout point that i haven't claimed no there's one down there as well okay it's the penultimate lookout point that i haven't claimed I don't know what I'm going to do about those foxes. Like I said, I think I might just need to off stream, just sit down and sit in that ground blind for like one or two hours real time. What part am I looking for? I was looking for the caps lock button. There we go. I was trying to find sprint toggle. I was just hitting every wrong button. Even though this is the same setup I've been using for hundreds of hours. Uh, I don't actually know what my exact playtime is in this game. Steam, what do you think? 
Steam thinks I've been playing for 267 hours total. Which is quite a lot. And really, what will be a... What would a few more hours sat in a ground blind looking at nothing add to that, really? It's quite a journey. It's quite a journey that we're setting ourselves out on here. Oh, hello. I don't think whoever made these is still here. Judging by the quantity, it has to be either deer or bison, right? Fallow deer. Probably a little bit too close to our old fast travel point for us to easily like harvest this place. Which is a shame. Oh. Apparently it's also Ah, oh, it's this one, I see, okay. I didn't realise we were that close to it. When was that? When was that? That theoretically is active now. So whoever made that could still be nearby after they got spooked by me teleporting in. No one here at all. Okay. See, that's a field. Fields are generally the place where you get to see animals most times of day. There's only someone here. That's at about render distance. So we probably won't see too many things in there. Hmm. I guess it is an empty field. Are these the ones that we have a mission for? No, that's Schoenfeld straw fields, okay. There are maybe very slightly too many straw and cornfields 
all over the place so I get them confused. What was that? That's a pheasant. I was gonna say that sounds kind of like a pheasant call. It's a little far away. But this is field territory, so we might still be able to see it if we can get up on that hill. I tell you what else, the moment someone invents a caller for pheasants in this game, absolutely no bird will be safe. Oh. And there's geese, of course there are. Have a little look, see. See if we're likely to see this. Oh, we're now in the cornfields. Those aren't pheasant tracks. I don't think I'm going to spot this bird somehow, because <laughs> it turns out that, that is all just trees. Oh, blimey. On the other hand, this... This might get us on. hear the footsteps, but there's geese. Come on, little dear. Oh, hello. Nope, 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 one grown gun. Oh, I don't think that was a very good shot on him. I don't think that was a very good shot at all. Oh, come on. Ah, he's disappeared off into the trees. Okay, right. Somebody's really nearby. Pheasant. Oh, he's gone down to land. Where did he go down to land? Oh, I think he's landed on the other side of the trees! Ah, oh, he was about... Yeah, he's always slightly on the other side of the trees. Bloody geese, shut up. Let that blood trail go. Right, did we get him? We didn't even kill him. That roe deer. We did not even kill him. What gun have I got on number one? Oh, this was the right ammo. This obviously caught a really bad glancing blow. Blast. Did that. Oh, he, okay, now he's gone down. So we've got a little bit of a trek, but we have actually killed an animal today at least. Oh, hello. Uh.
no, okay. That was a waste of shots really, wasn't it? Pheasants are real, real tricksy. Oh, hang on, let's zoom in until I can actually, there we go, get that on the map. Uh, now we're just looking around for some more purple tracks. And troublingly, they seem to have dried up. I bloody hate this sometimes. You, you, it's because you, you go through an area with like high track density, and I think they must overwrite each other. And you just you just can't see them. I'll pick them up again. Someone up there. I don't know who. No, 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 I'm not a threat, I promise. You've got to come over the hill, though. Those are the footsteps of a nervous animal. Where are you? Ah, there. Oh, come on, give me the spot. Got that. We can come back to it. Now, where the hell? There. I'm assuming he's gone down, yeah, he's dead. Where the hell is the next blood trail from this guy? Let's have a look out in case there's any more animals. Nope, okay. Absolute nightmare sometimes. It's almost worth getting the dog DLC. Not quite, because the dogs are really annoying in this game, but almost.
Ah, hello. That was a need zone down there. Okay. So, I'm gonna take this. Then wander down to said need zone. Oh dear sleep here. Hell surprise. Alright, now we gotta go back and find that again. Maybe I should be running. Blood? I think that's the blood. It's, it's possible for me to put a marker over that blood splat. Right, off we go. Wandering through the woods. Might have been quicker to just pick up that fellow dear body, because we're going to have to run back quite a ways to it. Oh, Hirschfeld and that light. It's not quite as ethereal as Medved at night. Medved's got this sort of quiet, lonely charm. Tracks becoming more frequent, which is nice. It's going to make my job a lot easier. <laughs> Although, are we even below 25% yet? No, we're not. So we've still got quite a way to go. I wasn't sure quite what happened in the moment of the shot, because I was zeroed in right on his, his chest, and then he sort of, I think he sort of jerked slightly to the side, and I only caught him like along the flank. Along the left flank, specifically. Now we've got a problem because there's a sudden dearth of tracks and the last one is non-directional. That's fine. If What have we come to over here? What is this place? Oh, don't know. I don't think it's enough place because I don't see a flat hole. Uh, 
And as Clayton Johnson always told us, yeah, the flagpoles are for us. But someone comes here to have their lunch. So we might be back at some point. However, these lunch havers have... oh, there's a body, okay, but as I was about to say, they've lunched all over the next set of tracks, but it's fine, we don't need them. Northern cabins. Oh, pigs eat here. They're after pig tracks, aren't we? We need footprints from a boar and droppings from a boar, which might be these. Perhaps. Quest complete. Oh, yeah. Okay, what's our new quest? I've seen tracks down in Rettestein that look promising. Try and see if you can track one down, and I know there are more. Okay, the actual mission is travel to Rettestein Harvest Boar. Wait, is that? Oh, that's over here. Oh, there's quite a lot of over here. Uh, I was about to feel like, oh, we're going that way anyway, but I mean, <laughs> that way is a decent chunk of the map. Right, where did we get? Yeah, along the left flank, that's what I thought. Lost! Right, I'm gonna pick up this, and then we'll head back to find that fallow deer. And then. I don't know. What time is it in game? It must be gone midnight by now. Oh, yeah, well gone midnight. Sleeps. Oh dear, we're at dizzy tiredness time. Oh, oh, oh dear. Not behind the tree. I said not behind the tree, you... That, okay, he was not behind the tree that time. I was definitely not looking at the tree. Not happy about that. Have they changed the tree hitboxes? Because I fluffed a lot of shots in the last couple of streams. Ha, ah, gotcha. Uh oh. Shouldn't have done that. So now I need to go back there. Did I reload? Yes, I did.
So right there at last one. Probably not worth calling for. Right, this is about where I swam last. But blood splat. Well, he hasn't died, so it wasn't a good shot again. But to be fair, I was just being a bit petty. Because I was salty about the tree. No organ set. Okay, well. If he goes down, we can come back for him. Otherwise, I'm feeling vindictive and not really feeling like putting a fourth, fourth bullet after this guy. So, you know, you can just deal with it, basically. Uh, Oh god, he has died. Okay, fine. Poor fellow there has been lying around for hours at this point in game. Oh, I hate this. This. Journeying on for miles and miles and miles. Because I apparently can't shoot a road to save my life. And yet, I can shoot a target with no problem. That might have been a ranging issue. Might have been a problem with he was just a bit too far away. Because the one thing this has a real problem with is it's it's very short range. I say very short range, it's not a very short range, but it's shorter range than I like. But it does remind me that one of the things I wanted to do was to test out on the on the shooting range, like how much bullet drop there is. So you know, if I if I zero in for fifty meters and I shoot something at a hundred meters, how much bullet drop do I get? If I zero in at hundred meters and shoot something at hundred fifty meters, how much bullet drop do I get? Uh well, it's these tracks, but I also want to come back. I'm going to go over to this, pick this up, whatever this might be. We're just getting further and further away from that fellow deer that we shot. Oh dear. Literally, oh dear. Okay, more Rodeo Rest Zones. That's part, so let's just go to that and then we'll pick it up from there. I suppose an appropriate question to ask might be, is it worth me sneaking, or should I just run? Do I, If I see another animal, do I even want to shoot it at this point? They're, they're very good at stopping just behind trees. He's done it again! He did it twice! What a swine! 
There's somebody else there. You have your back to me. I ain't care if I do. Do you gone? Oh, no mind. Yeah, I definitely wasn't risking another tree shot. Well, we got one thing that with a with a good shot. Oh, you're very pretty as well, actually. Oh. Big ol' lump of rock there. And somebody has walked more or less, uh, like, horizontally along it. Great. Good job, dears. Good job. Tracking is taking forever. I wonder what blood level we're on. So the last one... Where did we find him? We found him up there. I think we shot him down there. So we could have a ways to go yet. Oh my god, we're still over 50% health. We're going to be here all night, gang. We are going to be here all bloomin' night. I guess we're going to find out if tracks from a dead animal do despawn. if they do, I mean, you know, these tracks are already old. By the time we get back to the Felidia, those tracks will be more than very old, I should imagine. <laughs> also, must apologize, it's a particularly bad day for my uh, new station dysfunction. So I'm a bit more snuffly than normal. Right, okay, we're up below 50%. We're now at very old tracks. Goodness gracious. Oh, hello. See, I can shoot Rodia. Fine. Sometimes. 
Uh, this one was a female. So no trophies for me. Right, where's that blood? Blood. Come around for a bit, because we spooked everything off with the gunshot anyway. Oh dear. Quite a few people have been through this way, which might make finding our tracks harder. Where are we? Oh my god, we're off over here now. Jeebus. The, the plan, right, was to go from here to here. <laughs> we have not, we have not succeeded. We have not succeeded at all. I mean, well, we did we did our boar mission actually, which we couldn't have done without, because that was up here. But we couldn't have done the mission that we were aiming to do without getting sidetracked. Is that a body? No. Although we are below twenty five percent now. I don't know if it's even still there, it'll be a miracle. It's actually going to be a lot faster to fast travel back home. <laughs> well, I say home. Back to the outpost. Uh. I don't know where the next tracks are. Oh, there they are. That's a body! Hooray! We did it! I did also just jump off of a slope. That Imagine if that killed me. <laughs> Imagine if we got all this way and then I died. Um, oh my gosh. Oh. I somehow managed to hit him in the back, even though I could have sworn he was looking at me, but whatever. Oh no, this is the one I shot from miles away. Yeah, of course he was looking at me. And there was a lot of bullet drop, apparently, on that one. Okay, right. Okay, we're fast travelling here, we're going to go find that fallow deer that we shot several years ago. <laughs> well, one has to laugh, otherwise one would cry. Uh, probably I'm gonna need more bloody 30-30 ammo, aren't I? 30-30 soft point round those. Yes. Because I've been spending it like no one's business. Mostly hitting bleeping trees. Actually, that's a thing they need to add to that shooting range, is they need to add some rocks and trees so that you can find out what their hitboxes are.
once this is over, I'm gonna have to go back and look at the footage and see like how just how off that shot was. What time is it? We've been up for one hour and four. We we're chasing that thing for maybe ten-ish minutes, fifteen-ish minutes. So um, fifty-ish minutes up time, let's say, around then. through and put together a Dizzy Shoots Trees compilation of all the times I've committed environmental vandalism while aiming ostensibly at animals. Look how pixely that is. I don't know what they've done to this game, but it's appalling. At least I know it's not me, because I was watching a, a hat film stream of this game uh, fairly recently, and they were having the same problem. It's just, it's just shocking. Like, why is that an option? How do you, how do you get that to happen? And given that it's possible, why did you, why did someone choose to? I know I pull it up a lot when I play this game, but it's because it does stand out so very, very much. Why does what happen? Uh, hang on. You, that. If you see how pixely those trees are, it happens particularly in the mist and fog. All the textures get, like, super like that. And they often have, I don't know if you can sort of see on this branch when I zoom out, they get like outlines around them as well. It happens to some of the rock textures as well. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's bad. And none of my settings change it that I, I can detect. The only one I haven't tried is setting, it's the big one. Uh, system video. I've not tried setting absolutely everything up to ultra, like all at once. I think I have tried most of those settings individually up to ultra, and none of them fixed it. So I'm assuming that setting them all up to ultra at the same time wouldn't fix it. Uh, oh, uh, I see blood. Blood is good. Hello. I'll give a little rattle. See if I can get go over here. I doubt if I'll be able to see through this mist. The one thing the mist is really bad for is it absolutely neuters night vision. Yeah, look, there's a rock with a, a lot of outline going on. Okay, right. Uh, uh, where's the... Where's the post beam shot tracks? Might be these ones. Is that blood? Is that 
Jetpacks. That's droppings. It might still be post injury droppings. We'll have to have a look. No, okay. I'm gonna have to I'm just gonna have to run this. Because it's gonna be a real faff. Uh, Shesko says I'm forcefully taking a break now. Forcefully? Is someone is someone putting you up to this? Uh, what about this? Run. Ah, perfect. Excellent. We're on the right track. Oh, we've got a medium bleed rate too. This might be a slightly quicker catch up, thank god. Double check. Behind us, I wouldn't expect that to be, but Ah, a body. Wonderful. Chesco says, I'm so close to having fixed the problem I've been having with the project. It's break time. Is it I don't know what your your projects are. Am I allowed to ask what your, your problems and projects are, or is it like confidential work stuff? It's a VR chat. Ooh, fancy 3D modeling business. Uh, in which case, it is absolutely pointless me asking you anything further because I understand nothing about <laughs> anything to do with that. About such terms that I've heard people use as rigging and blender and models. And I feel like they use terms like skeleton and bones, but they don't use them right. Uh, okay, we have a fallow there. Oh, I've got an achievement. Fallow fanatic. Apparently that was my 50th fallow deer. I only killed 50 fallow deer in this whole game. Astonishing. Uh, where do we want to go? Right, not the foxes. Taking our handgun we're not set up for. I was sort of set up for. Tesco says, you'd be a master if you'd come to any of my streams this year. Oh no. <laughs> I've not gone, gone to any of your streams this year. Mm. Hello? Who's that? No, I need nine. Mm. That sounded pretty close. Uh, Seska says, not because of me, Calmore occasionally drops by the one who made Zoe's VTuber. Ah, I did wonder who'd made her VTuber. I sort of assumed it was a bit of a secret. I didn't realise it was uh, publicly available knowledge. I think I got him. That's such a fast reload. Shaska says they seem to be a very quiet slash private person. That's very loud. I mean, the internet is a scary place. There are people who put themselves out there. 
semi-regularly find themselves in harm's way, so I don't blame them. Are you kidding me? Another very low bleed rate. I don't think this gun is up to it, you know? I think this Whitlock is a bit... is a bit pants. Just says, did tell me themselves the first time they visited. Uh huh. Vion shared the Twitter handle and I was immediately following. Oh, I did. I, I obviously missed Vion doing that, otherwise, honestly, I would probably also be immediately following. I mean, they're interchangeable for most purposes, right? <laughs> That's how this works. When you're part of a, a, a streaming duo. <laughs> don't, don't tell them I said that. Uh, I will be murdered on the spot in Fionn's chat. That is also how polycules work. Uh, can confirm, have been in them. <laughs> you hear tippy tappy footsteps. Don't know who of though. I could make a guess of it. Oh, or maybe I won't have to. I'm just like. Come here, little road here. I didn't see really where you went. Kind of vanished into the bush. Come back. Come back! See, I could never be a hunter in real life because I'd be sat here actually saying, like, come back. And of course, if a road here hears you saying, come back in English. It's definitely not going to come back. Oh, you little swine. Okay, I'll blow for the, uh, the red deer instead. See if she comes back. Uh, Shaska says, basically, I want my avatar to have adjustable hip width. I have a hard time making the in-game control for that working like I want to. Adjusting hip width seems to me to be an unusual thing to want to do on the fly. If I'm making tutorials this kind of thing, I seem you already know how to do this. Oh, that is... I... I... I honestly really hate that. Like, any time you're trying to get into lots of sort of, like, I don't know what the word is I'm trying to, to fish for here. Lots of art and art programming related tutorials assume, because I've looked up, like, things for Photoshop and stuff. They assume that you already basically know how to do the thing that they're trying to tell you to do. 
And I don't, because I'm useless with both art and with sort of, you know, art-related uh, applications. So I have none of the ex expected knowledge for what should, by rights, be a quite basic tutorial. Uh, it says, not controls in keybinding, controls in in-game menu. It's just called the controller unity. I don't know that I know what the important difference is between those two things. Uh, I can't believe both of those deer wandered straight past us. We called to both of them and we got neither of them. <laughs> neither of them came back. What a disaster. Uh, Jessica says you didn't understand what you wanted to just were hit with. Yeah. I still don't. Oh. Was that not the answer you were looking for? A lot of avatars have built-in body sizes to suit different players. Oh, okay, this isn't like... for a person. This is a... a, a more sort of... one-size-fits-all general purpose thing. Says, in my case, it's only for me. Ah, I see. Okay. Now I'm more with you. Gotcha. Sorry for making you spell that out. I am, as I think I've mentioned before, unusually dense sometimes. Oh, we were inches away from the heart shot there. Right, okay. Now we have actually cleared up all the things that we shot. I was going to go back to finding out what mission to do. I think I'm going to go to this one. And swap out this Whitlock, because it's bloody useless. Oh, actually. We've got the two sick bison are also in Tika now, aren't they? Yeah, okay. Jessica says, I don't think I've actually told you I'm doing the flow before. That's fair. Well, congrats to you. Oh, I didn't know Twitch had a, a gender fluid pride heart. Cool. Let's head over here. Right, now seeing as we know that there's going to be some sick bison, I think... They might be fairly easy targets. What I'm considering doing is swapping out my loadout. I think I'm gonna. I don't normally do a mid session kit fix. I think I'm gonna swap out loadout here. Let's go into storage. Uh, we'll keep the. Oh no. Just swap everything off. Uh, oh, there's lots of variations. So I was aware of the trans NB and ace ones. I don't think I knew there was a pan one. I definitely didn't know there was an intersex one. That's cool. And then the some of the more kind of standard gay, lesbian, bi ones. That's cool. I should actually look into those and like using them some more. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Right. Handguns. Uh, I guess the point four four is the biggest one that I own. That's size three to eight. I ideally want a handgun that will take on class ten, 
uh, class nine even. Uh, Rhino four five four. That's my items. Ah, yeah, okay. I've not been using this because I've not actually unlocked all the. I've not unlocked the good ammo for it, that's why. Of course. Okay. Well, let's. grab the, the, the panther. Actually, having just said that. You can do class two to six. You might be a better. You might be better. Or we could just go all handguns. <laughs> Let's just go all handguns. Sure, why not? Uh, that one for you. You for the little guys. What do your bullets do actually? Point four five. Oh, you do. Up to class nine, theoretically. Okay, so we don't need that then. We can go with just you two. Uh, point two five seven. Point two five seven. Are they not called point three five seven? Oh, there we go. They're down here. Uh, okay, duck. Right, so between these two guns, we can take on theoretically anything in the park. So now we just need to know what I want in general for other stuff. What other guns do I want on me? Let's bring a bow. Let's bring the bear claw. Yeah, bear claw? Bear claw. And the rangefinder sight. We don't need that. Okay, I've got space for another gun. Uh, I'm tempted to bring the point three oh three just because it is. My favourite gun. It's not enormously useful here. What does the 270 take? 270 takes 4 to 8. Hmm. I could grab the uh the muzzle loader again. Point four four jacketed hollow point bullets. That's for the revolver, okay. Uh Yeah, okay, let's grab the Let's grab the 303. Oh, if I can find the damn thing though. There we go. Okay. Uh, right, 303 on number one. I've got one handgun on that, big handgun on five, bow on four, uh, you, oh. right, we're, you're the ones that we're trying to use up, so we can get rid of you. Uh, oh, you say two to five here, I could have sworn you said up to class nine. Four. <laughs> um, uh, 
Okay, well that's fine. You still take most things. What the hell is that 0.44 pound? There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, these guys take more to mind. Okay, never mind. That was really. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take you. I'm going to take you off. Put you away. So we don't need you. And then scopes, sights. Don't need the helioscope either. That's that. Helios, 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 helios. There we go. Use the scope for a useless gun. Alright, where are we heading? We're heading 1.23 kilometers that way. I think the chances that we get there are slim, to be honest. <laughs> we tried going this way once before, I think. We did not make it. Perhaps more troublingly, it looks like we're on some sort of a big slope. Now if the slope is going down, that's fine. If the slope is going up, that's a problem. Who is that then? It's a piggy. Just to check, for a pig, we want number five. Ah, Shesko has fixed their hip problem. Congratulations. I just need a few more adjustments, they say, and we can test it in the... Ah, oh, congratulations. Oh, hello, pig, pig. Uh, right, okay. Five... I don't know if that got him or not, to be honest. <laughs> the pig reacted, but it didn't really react like it had been shot. So I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. That might be blood. That is blood. Amazing. Also, it looks like it's getting light. Oh, maybe it is getting light. I've wandered around the whole evening. Did he die? He did go down. Fantastic. I think we're going to miss that waypoint that I set up for us. Body. Uh, yeah. Don't think it's worth us going for that. I might go for this though.
Boom, perfect shot. Okay. Oh, I got an achievement. Wait, does it not think I'm in Tikka now? Am I not in Tikka now? I'm in Tikka now! Oh, I have to travel this specific bit of Tikka now. I'm looking at the wrong mission. Uh... Yeah, okay. I was just panicking there for no reason. Uh, I got another achievement. I'm assuming for killing 50 boars. No, boars night out. Harvest a wild boar at night with a handgun. Oh. Well. That was lucky. Right there, I scooped for it's not coming, but it's fine. Somebody else is here, though. Oh, Boom Boom is here. Hi there, Boom Boom. Uh, we're not hunting rabbits. Currently, we're hunting pigs that I think have just run away from us. Uh... <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're big and scary and strong. No. There. Perfect. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's aggressive. He's aggressive. I did read that he was aggressive. Oh, where the hell did he go? He moved. They do that sometimes. Uh oh. Okay, it's fine. Ba -ba -ba -da, another excellent long shot. Oh no, I did get him. On this one. Just about. Lovely. Uh, we've got a new mission. Because we finished that one. Uh, your handgun skills are pretty good. Now try it out on some different animals. Okay, I'm going to go to Peter's Hayne Cornfields for this one. Harvest three different species of animals downed with a handgun. I also realise that I've gone off to this mission that is going to involve me hunting bison. Ostensibly. And if I want to do this mission, the only weapon I have for harvesting bison is a bow. Which is probably not ideal. So, let's not do that. Where are we going for this? Three different species of animals down with a handgun. Okay. <laughs> what the hell is just score? Just score is apparently... Short circuited their computer by touching a part that did not like a USB C cable. Okay, that's not good. That. <laughs> I'm worried. Uh, extensively worried. Where, where, where's the wind blowing? Wind's blowing southwest. If I want to get to these cornfields. I don't really want to be starting from here, do I? I've moved all of my tents, so I guess we're going around this way. Nope, I don't want to do that. Chesco says, I bare touched a USB A slot with a USB C cable that wasn't even connected to anything and my computer turned off. Uh, I'm shocked and concerned on your behalf, Shaskor. Uh, uh, 
Extremely so. Uh, see, stories like that are, I think, one of the reasons why I'm not a very technical person. Because to do technical person things... Okay, I'd, I'd be much happier to accept that as a reason. If you if you hit the power button, uh, be yeah, like people have always told me like, oh, building your own PC is much cheaper, and I'm sure it is. Oh, not me fat thumbing the sprint button or anything. Uh, Tesco says, I may have pigeon boxed myself, and I'm wondering if you are referring to that one experiment where the pigeons started doing like random rituals in response to randomly dispersed food. Because they just did whatever they were doing when they got food. Because if so, that's a very niche reference, and I compliment you for it. Uh, I only know it because I was unfortunate enough to read uh, Richard Dawkins. If anyone here hasn't read Richard Dawkins, don't. It's it's an awful slog to read. Uh, I think I've read Selfish Gene all the way through. And I've read a bit of one of his other books. I don't remember which. I'm guessing, seeing as I remember the pigeon story, it was probably God Delusion, but I don't know. But oh boy, is it an awful experience. Uh... Bim Bim says, my uncle was super into God Delusion. You poor soul. Uh, if you ever had to deal with him after that. No, I was a... Uh... I was in that particular sort of edgy teenage environment where because we were all like supposed to be super duper smart because we were at a grammar school and because aforementioned grammar school was like uh, a Church of England school, the the edgy rebellious thing to do was to be like Atheist, but in like a very mean-spirited way. I don't know if you know what I mean. The same way you can be like a meat eater and eat meat and not be a prick about it, or you can be really awful about it to people who don't eat meat. Well, it was very trendy at the time amongst my, my schoolmates to be the kind of atheist who is very obnoxious towards anyone who isn't an atheist because Obviously, atheism is the intellectually superior position. Uh, it was the same edgy teen rebellion, but he was like 30. Ooh, not fun. Not fun at all. Do I think it's light enough to switch to my not night vision binoculars yet? It's gone 5, so it should be. I don't think it is. Euphoric atheism, is that what they call it? Yeah, I think this is better now. <laughs> oh, Shaskor, you are being beset by one problem after another today, aren't you? 
Oh, the battery's flat. Well, that's at least fixable. It seems to be all quiet down at the watering hole. They say, and then immediately hear a pheasant. Where are you? Pheasant? If you're around this lake somewhere, I'd love to know. I promise I wouldn't shoot you or anything. Well, I wouldn't shoot you successfully anyway. Uh... <laughs> An excellent suggestion from Boom Boom. Uh, full marks. We're going to briefly dive through these reeds. What are going to be all horrible? And then it's onwards to our actual proper destination. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. I'll go around. Cheska says, the funny thing is I do have an extra battery stuck on the back of the headset for balance. But that one's also empty. Oh, Pat. Oh, no. What? Pheasant. Why do you need an extra... an, an extra weight for balance? I didn't realise that... Headsets were particularly, like, precariously balanced to begin with. Oh, okay, because I've got the pheasant, I need the bird shot. Which in turn means I need to do this 8 hour reload animation. says because the brick on the front of my face gets him. I suppose that's fair. I've never used a VR headset so I, I don't know what they're like. The neck stops hurting and it constantly slips onto your nose. Oh dear. Where was that bird? Apart from somewhere in this mess of bushes and trees. No birdie? No pheasant? It would probably be helpful if you made some more noise. These are tracks, but they're not pheasant tracks. Uh... Is he out in the field? Uh, not obviously. Okay. Uh, Boom Boom says a fully rigid one like PSVR can be comfortable. The strap ones never to become loose and saggy. Oh dear. Francesca hmm. says the alternative is making the straps painfully tight. I see. Okay. Well, it's not making me want to get a VR headset more listening to any of this. This is a red deer track. This is not helpful to us. That's a deer track. Okay, wherever that pheasant was, I've obviously wandered straight past him. Oh, no, there, there he is. Okay. Uh, you need to take off, sir. I can't, I can't shoot you when you're grounded. You don't count.
Oh, I got him. I don't know if I killed him, but I got him. No organs hit. He went this way. He was leaking blood all over the ground. Okay. Uh. Bim Bim says, Oh, it's very good, Johnny. You just got to pay attention to comfort reviews. Even cardboard VR could be okay. What the hell is cardboard VR? Okay, I hit him. I didn't hit him well. But he has died. So... That's okay. I shot him, and after I shot him, it's like, well, what the hell do I do now? How do I track a bird through the air? But luckily, we've got the blood. We've got quite a lot of blood as well, not like those deers we were <laughs> following earlier. Uh, Boom Boom says, Cover VR is a VR headset made of cardboard, which I suppose I should have figured. Some lenses you slot your phone into. Oh, okay, I think I have seen either that or something very similar, although I had not realised perhaps that it was cardboard per se. Do I want to swap back to my regular ammo? Yes, I do. Do another two-year reload animation. How the hell did this bird fly to? Boom says apparently they make good stocking fillers. Oh, oh, <clears throat> <laughs> And Chesscore has charged their battery enough that it tells them that there's no charge in it. I hate that. My my phone's my phone that I've got currently is really on the way out. Uh but but sometimes it does just you come back to it and it's dead, and you plug it in, you come back to it for a while, and it's now just not dead enough that it tells you that it's dead. It's very frustrating. Uh, this is going to seem very silly, but can you test the avatar in VR chat without using the VR? Now why are you telling me it walks that way when it's clearly over here? Hello. Hello, buddy. Ooh, a gold pheasant. Lovely. And then I got him. I sort of popped him in the back like that. <laughs> Boom Boom says, my phone's fine apart from the trick smashing instant. Yeah, if you ever want a story to terrify your uh, friends and or colleagues with, Boom Boom's phone that broke itself when brought in from the cold is one of them. Uh, oh, that's uh, a little mood zone that we can pick up on. Chesco says, yes, that's what I've been doing to test the menu stuff. Oh, I see, okay. Ah, okay, right. So having the, the VR bit tests if it follows your movements and does other things correctly. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Oh, this is a place where pheasants come to sleep. If I ever need to, to hunt them some more. Although, that being said, trying to hunt pheasants at 4 o'clock in the morning 
I think is is going to go nowhere because it's going to be too dark. Uh, Cheska says my last avatar had horrific folding whenever the fingers would test around an object. I've I've seen enough VR stuff to know that the phrase horrific folding is not one that I particularly want to see demonstrated in action. Uh, Bimu says, can he not go all Danny Champion of the World on them? I would love if that were the case. Uh, sadly not. Uh, specifically for the pheasants. Uh, if you shoot them while they're on the ground, if, for example, you had, let's say, sleepily poisoned them, uh, then you don't get any sort of trophy at all. They don't count. Which, for the most part, is not a problem. But if I ever get a really good pheasant, like a diamond rank pheasant, then I would not succeed. <laughs> it's come back in a while, stick the wall with the sand. That was a good book. I think Danny the Champion of the World, although I obviously didn't know it at the time, was like the beginnings of my social philosophy ethos approach to the world. Uh, a very subversive book. Oh, we have another first time chatter, Phase Ghost, and then many letters and numbers. Welcome to the channel. I just heard a road deer squeak and I wasn't looking at the screen, so I don't know where it was, but I think it was somewhere over here. Uh, Shaska says, also see if my, the proportions feels right. My proprioception, which is a word that I probably pronounce correctly, tells me my hands in one place, the arms of my avatar are too short, there'll be dissonance. Ah, I see. Oh, I can see that being annoying to deal with. Yes, of course. Okay. As I don't know where that road it was, we're just going to pretend like it didn't happen. Uh... We can head down to this field, see if there's any boys in said field. Do I have to actually shoot them with a handgun for the mission? Yes, okay. I don't know if my birdshot handgun will count. Shaskor is telling what proprioception is, the sense of knowing where your body parts are. I sort of guessed from context, uh, and I've definitely seen the word written down before, but like I've never had to say it out loud. <laughs> That's one of the, the sort of things where you, you, you read stuff in you know, scientific literature or whatever, and like, ah, yes, fine, I understand this, and, and I, I know what that word is, and then as soon as you come to actually have to say it to someone for the first time, you're like gripped with panic. What if I've been saying this wrong? What if this is another epitome, epitome situation? You know? Uh, <laughs> Shaska had to look at what the word was. That's fine. That's fine. No one knew. Uh, Boom Boom says, Did you hear the boys are in the yard with the milkshake? Well, that's not good news because I'm not in the yard. And I have the milkshake. Uh, I don't even have anything that could reasonably be said to sound like Milkshake that could attract the boys. It turns out I've come at this field from a really bad angle, so that I can only see a tiny bit of said field. Uh, I've got need zones here. Lots of them. Many of them morning need zones. They're all at the night time, aren't they? Blast. It's because I used to come here at night. Or whatever that quest was. Also, I've been walking into a tree. Uh, oh, Shaskor, you're a sweetie. Well, I'd like to think so. Uh, I, 
I would say the empirical evidence doesn't fully support that hypothesis. But neither does it fully contradict it. Okay, now the question is, do we just plough head on into the field? I think yes, I think we plough more or less head on into the field. Uh, Shaska says you have 96 followers. Imagine all of them in a room. Ah, uh, well, you see, for whatever reason, 50 of those are uh, bots that all sort of spam followed me all at once. And even though I've blocked them all, like banned them all, they still, for whatever, they still somehow show up in that little uh, follower goal thing, which is quite annoying because I'd much rather know what my follower total was without bots. There we go. Also, here's a, another famous Hunter Call of the Wild graphical error that's been going on for a while. The uh, the phantom trees that sort of... They look almost like they exist from a distance, but they don't. Uh... <laughs> oh, boom boom. Oh dear, oh no. Uh, your lovely personality brings the bots as well. Hello, geese. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna blow for you. Do I actually have any bullets that will take you? Okay, yes, I've got the point four four on button number three. Um. <laughs> Thanks, Shaskor. Thanks. Uh, no, the birds are just bloody geese being annoying, loud little things. Uh... Oh, more pheasants potentially nearby. Oh, there's a male right there as well. Lovely jubbly. Let's have a look in case anyone's over in this bit. Don't think so. Oh god, I hate the noise they make. <laughs> They're just awful. Now, where are these deer? Seska says, why do the words Phantom Hourglass come to mind? Because of the Phantom Trees? Phantom Hourglass is another game that I've not played. Uh, on the list of games that everyone really should have played. Dizzy has not played. Hello. I've got a little flash on my screen there. Don't know what it was for. Did I... A spy an animal? Ah, okay, yes, there's geese. In the grass up ahead. Okay. Uh, Bimbo has also not played Phantom Hourglass, and so can't tell me if I'm missing out or not. Oh my god, these geese! Shut up! Shut up, you horrible creatures! <laughs> They're driving me mad. I can't even see them amongst all the corn stalks. Hello. Oh, there's a pheasant, though. Oh, he's, he's over here somewhere. The reason why I'm scrolling it out is there's like a little glitch where if it's not you're not supposed to be able to spot something, you sometimes still can if you change the zoom levels really quick. Obviously not today. Where the hell are those red deer? They're, they're the hell are those red deer. Okay, is there a male with you? I heard a male. I guess there is no mail. Oh.
No, he's well out of range. Okay, that's fine. Uh, hello? Oh. Uh, occasionally I accidentally hit the, the chat button. And... Oh no! Get off! Stop! Game! Bad game! I was going to say, occasionally I hit the chat button and all my key inputs get uh, turned into movement. And apparently some of my tents have also fallen down, which is not great. Where do we think this deer went after I shot it? This way. Okay. That's just because I want to try Tears of a Kingdom. I have no money nor a switch to play it on. Which one's Tears of a Kingdom? Is that... Is that the new Zelda one that's coming? Uh, no. This is one of those bits that the deer have all been back and forth on. Breath of the Wild 2. Ah, okay. I, I own Breath of the Wild. I have not played Breath of the Wild. And having seen other people playing Breath of the Wild, I feel like I would find it to be a very frustrating game. Uh, okay, it was just one of my uh, hunting stands, I guess, that got taken down. That's annoying, but not the end of the world. Oh, there it is. It's like, where's this next track? It's right in front of my face. Oh. You had to run around in a big old circle, didn't you? Horrible thing. That's it, that's just a seagull. This one? No. Oh, the geese are coming back. Oh, I should actually um, put on the bird shot. Even though I said I wasn't gonna, I'm gonna put on the bird shot. Just in case that counts. This is going to be the one either, somehow. No, okay. I've got to find... Oh. No, not you. Hang on, I'm going to go back to this track. To find out where it was going. Blood. Somewhere in this direction. Maybe this? There we go, more blood. Okay, fantastic. Oh my gosh, I hate this. Why you gotta do this to me? Bloody dear. On the plus side, this would be completely and utterly nightmarishly impossible without the colour coding. So at least they gave us that. Ah. Oh. oh dear. Okay, it's fine. He went over this way. More blood going this way. Okay, fantastic. I think from here we'll be able to catch up without any more crisscrossing. Right, is it three different species of animal? Is that the mission? Yeah, three different species of animal. Okay. <laughs> boom boom says shout out to colours. Uh, very, very useful things to those who can see them and differentiate them. Untold, unspoken heroes of our society, really, colours. Now, 
Is there anyone? Hello? Oh, there is someone out there. But very, very far away. I might put you on my map just in case you're still there when I've found wherever this corpse is. This corpse apparently has a very low bleed rate, so it might be a while. Hello? Oh, a warning call, you say? Who <laughs> says, shout out to the time Grandad accidentally painted the conservatory hot pink? Is your grandfather colorblind then? Because that's a great story. Oh, hello. Right, there's a deer. Ah, hello. Right, ideally, I'd like you to be a little closer. And to not be going the other way. That would be very helpful as well. Oh no, he's bolted! He's seen me! He's seen me! At least he thinks he's seen me. Uh, I don't think I can get him. No, I'm not gonna get him. Blast! Oh well. Uh, oh my God. Not sure how I'd feel about the hot pink conservatory. I I conceptually oh hello where are you oh you're quite far away you're probably at range. I conceptually like the idea of hot pink as a color, but I don't think very many things actually look good in hot pink. Is there anyone else? Out in your fields. There's that blooming red deer again. Uh, just more of you guys. In fact, that may be the same one. Okay. Oh, that's a fox, eight million miles away over there. Absolutely no chance of me getting to him, he's on the move. I mean, presumably it's possible for me to... hear the fox at this distance, if I knew what I was doing. Father, this bloody deer run with a bullet in her. Come on. Okay, there it is. There's the body. Where do we want to go next? North across the fields to where those rodeo were? Probably. Sleeps in here though. Pick up. Uh... It's not on my map already. Right, dear. Oh, I didn't get a vital organ. Oh, I got the stomach. I was slightly too far back. That's why it took so long to bleed out. There we go. Mystery solved. It was Dizzy being incompetent. Uh, 
Oh, there's been a pheasant over this way as well. Oh, this is where pheasants rest. Is this going to be another, like, four o'clock in the morning one? Yeah, okay. Um, you, okay, you will take Rodia, so I can use the gun that I've got on three for Rodia. That means I can keep the Colt on, kind of the goose anti-air fire. <laughs> Sort of that way ish. And another look in case anybody else is there. Oh, apparently there's someone a lot closer. Where are you then? Oh, there's another one, and I'm caught in the middle of a reload! I think I hit him. Right, well that was perfect. Oh, I somehow managed to hit this lung and this leg. Don't know how that works. Oh, I might accidentally smush this noon zone if this guy dies. That's not ideal. Where did he go? Where did he go? Uh, you, hello. You get hit? You did get hit. No organs hit. Okay. You did die. Need zone didn't smash. But we might be following you for quite a while. A foxy mating call? Oh, that will definitely smash our need zones if we do it. So seeing a foxy out there, I was about to say is going to be worse than impossible. <laughs> but actually, he's right there. Hang on. I've got a mark on that. Okay. I need to change back to the ammo in this. Do -do -do. Alright, hello everyone. It seems to me that we might be back. Uh, 
I apologize for various technical difficulties uh, that are occasionally encountered. All complaints to Richard Branson at the Virgin Media. Uh, it's entirely his fault personally for my terrible internet connection. Oh, hello, who's that? That's a very far away goose. Oh. Those goose calls are echoey. That's weird. Those geese. Ah, oh, hang on. That's that. That was my fault. That was not Richard Branson's fault. Uh, these geese might be in range. They've settled down right near me. So if you can forgive the noise. Thanks, Shasko. I know you've always got my back. Uh... <laughs> Bimbo says, I'm blind and deaf. Sorry my comments about Foxy Boys broke the stream. I mean, to be fair, you commenting about Foxy Boys is liable to break me quite a lot. So don't worry about also breaking the stream. I know you're over here somewhere. I just flinched. A pigeon flew up over me to perch like above my window. And I, I, I nearly went to go and try and shoot it in the video game thinking it was a goose. Uh, This one, I need this one. Okay. We got the goose. Once I finish this, I'm gonna pull up my thing to see if this counts. Apparently, we're on two out of three. I'm not sure what we're on two out of three for. Oh, I didn't use the right ammo? Oh! What? What class is a goose that this isn't the right ammo for it? Oh, I used a bullet! I didn't use the thing. Okay, well that counted for the quest. Because I didn't use the shotgun pellet. Uh... Dear IRL! Okay, don't shoot that one. Don't shoot IRL deer if you can help it. Only shoot video game deer. Uh, I can see here what happened. Are you winning? Yes, I'm winning. I won, in fact. I won the mission. Uh, Cornelia, Connie Holzer says, I feel some help with silent deer harvest in Ernstorf. Got a bow. I do got a bow. Hello, hello. Are you all receiving me? Can you all hear me? I believe I have a, a thank you to give to uh, Boom Boom for the follow. Yes, thank you very much, Boom Boom, if you can hear me. Uh, Boom Boom says, I see a BRB in here, my device. Amazing, fantastic. Okay, hopefully you should now see a game screen. Uh, Twitch is telling me that I am live. I'm going to trust it, even though that's probably a bad idea. Uh, 
Yay! A whole game screen. Amazing. Yeah, sometimes... I, I, if I knew what the problem was, it would be fantastic. But we've had, like, the internet engineer guy out. He gave us a whole new box and everything. And nothing changed at all. Uh, so I don't know what the problem is. Where do we get it? Oh, we got you in the leg. That's just like a little training leg shot. There is a goose over there. I'm not going to go and shoot it because I don't want to mess up all of my carefully curated need zones. And we've done our mission. We're now heading off, I guess. Do I want to keep on this mission track? Do I want to go to Ritterstein for this boar? Boom Boom says external problem. I must assume so. It, it could be a separate thing about how we have quite a complicated internet set up in this house for reasons that escape me. Uh, I'm not in charge of that bit. As mentioned, I'm not a very technical person. Uh, let's go to Ritterstein and look for some pigs. We've got about half an hour left of when I was expecting to stream for. So some pig hunting might go down well. Uh, now. Ideally, I want to go across this river. <laughs> Should I blame Richard? Uh, ideally, I want to go across this river, but I'm guessing I actually won't be able to apart from there, and that's not a great location, really, for Ritterstein. What way is the wind blowing? Wind is currently blowing. Oh, wind is blowing northeast now. Hmm. Well, you can shut up and all. Uh. Okay. Based on... Hmm. That's out kind of in the middle of nowhere. Okay. New plan. We're going to find out if there's a way across the, the water here. Because there's a hunting stand or something in the middle of the water, and that's unusual. Uh, Shaska says, I think I'll go do the mini painting I was going to do yesterday now. So I won't be able to type, but I'm still here. Oh, I'm sad to hear that you weren't able to do your mini painting. Uh, I, I don't know why that was, but I'm sure it was a, a terrible tragedy. Uh, in seriousness, though, I, I hope you enjoy. Uh, and it was good to have you here speaking as opposed to here not speaking, well we did. Okay. <laughs> shh, shh. I'm not guilty. I'm not guilty. I plead the fifth. We don't even have a fifth over here, but I'm going to plead it anyway. I probably could have changed my setup so that I wasn't using the handguns. I'm not going to, but I could have. Tesco says, I did still paint a lot afterwards, my minis are still not done. What do you uh, collect and play? I'm, uh, is it Warhammer? Is it a different game that I will inevitably not be familiar with? What, what mini painting are you doing? Oh, you can't talk because you're painting minis. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, Tan, just now. There was a roe deer here just now, apparently. I spooked him off by teleporting in. And this is not the same need zone that I worried about. Although it's going to be in the same place. Ooh. We do have piggers nearby, which bodes well for our quest to kill pigs. Chesco says, I'm refusing to buy any more from Games Workshop. Work is in my backlog, which contains some Warhammer. I blame you for... Not 
purchasing stuff from Games Workshop, it's the prices are going crazy and the model quality is getting Ah Okay, quality in terms of sculpt quality is not getting worse, but quality in terms of like user friendliness is going massively down. Uh, I too have a, an absolutely enormous backlog, including a half assembled uh, Storm Raven. I've got a half assembled Orc Stomper, not Stomper, uh, Gorkonaut. I've got a half assembled conversion of a Forge Fiend into a Gorkonaut. Uh, I've got a few of the, I think they're called the Indomitus magazines, the ones that look like Space Moon models and Necrons, those are completely unassembled. And I have the old uh, Warhammer World exclusive Land Raider Rhino set, which is, I think, mostly assembled and sprayed, undercoated, but it's not fully painted. So I've got, I've got a fair old backlog as well. <laughs> And a lot of it will probably never be gotten around to, because honestly, I suck at painting, and I'm bad at painting. And oh my god, has the has it really gone offline again? Uh, OBS says it's up. Chatty says it's down. The internet tells me it exists. I'm here, no panic. Okay, it's just my chatty app that I use to monitor chat. Okay. That's fine. That's allowed to have problems, I guess. Right. Alright. I'll keep going. I wouldn't have actually thrown something, I'm not the throwing thing sort of type, but I, I like to imagine that I would have threatened to throw something <laughs> if I'd had another internet connection lapse. Uh... The water doesn't look crossable over there. That's, that's actually in Serpent's marker on here. Let's put the marker on there. See if I can see what it thinks it's pointing to. Hmm. I cannot. Got bison tracks. Uh, Shaskor says, Sculpt quality is going up, user and kit bash friendliness, and customizability is crashing and burning. Yeah. And as a, as a orc player, obviously that perhaps troubles me a little more than it troubles the average person. But even for like, my space Marine models that I have... Oh, blimey, hello! Wow, God. that's a great one for Albertina. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. ow. Hi. <laughs> no, 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 no! Ow! Leave me alone! Stop running into me! Ow! <laughs> oh, there's more around. I can hear them. It's fine. <laughs> I was sneaking up so carefully on this, I didn't even notice that there were deer already here. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Um, oh, well, that was that was an experience. Uh, what the hell was she talking about that being one for Albertina? Oh, okay, I've got a quest to harvest a male red deer of bronze score or higher, which that would have been. Whoops. Whoops. Ah, oh, well. Uh, where was I? Shaskor says, mostly just tired of how the rules 
are in complete servitude to what GW wants to sell to the detriment of being actually fun. That, you know, is a massive problem. You have hit it right on the head. Uh, I have for the longest time been sort of engaged in a very slight on again, off again. Basically like a, a homebrew version, if you will, of rules for 40k. It, it's never gone like anywhere and it was only ever really for like personal use but you know it was it was bad enough that I wanted to do that uh oh hello uh -huh. right are you guys coming back I won't be mad if you do Although I will want you to bring the mail back. Nothing personal, but I got a quest for one. Oh, there's some other red deers over there. There you are. Right, okay. I need you, and I need you to stand still and get shot. Oh my god, there's so many of them! Uh, Shasko says, the only parts of the hobby that's still any fun is terrain making and the lore. Trying other games have introduced the house rule of just playing with books as is to my friends. That way we're equally unbalanced, as opposed to the newest book being flat out the best. Yeah. It's when 8th edition dropped, and they were like, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to just scratch all the existing rules and release a blanket set of base rules for everyone and everything. I genuinely thought that that was a t like a, an indication that they were going to commit to having a more player-friendly game. You know, because all the rules come out at once. Oh, no, there's a foxy over there. He's running away. Um, yeah, you have all the rules come out at the same time. So nothing is the most recent one that suffers from last release codex problems and bias. And they're all designed to be balanced against each other. <sighs> there's absolutely no way I can hit you at 150 meters. None whatsoever. It's tragic. But we got a gold rank male red deer, which is very lovely. Uh, Shaska says I've been playing a lot of Rivenstone on the tabletop sim with a friend. It's a lot of fun. I have not heard of Rivenstone. Uh, meanwhile, I have zero interest in 40k on TTS. There's no point without the models I spent ages making. Rules just aren't fun. Great, yeah. you got it. Albertina will be ecstatic. Oh, hello. As a bison. Oh, we've got a new mission. Lysha. A trophy to remember. I love the air around Burned Off Lake. Is that where I am now? It is. Oh, there's bison, but they're moving away from me. Don't do that. Uh, right, hang on. I've got a quest, um, a story quest for five red deer droppings. And I've just moved through a herd of red deer. So I feel like I should probably gather some of these up. <clears throat> uh, Shaskor says... Rivenstone isn't out yet. I can't wait to get my models. I'll scratch build a board for it. Bring it to my local hobby shop to play with others. Okay. There's one. It's not showing on my thing. That's annoying. Oh no, that's Boned Off Canyon. That's okay, never mind.
Hello. What's this quest? Just harvest the red deer. Okay. I nope. just got off the phone with Albertina, and you could really hear the excitement in her voice for the deer you harvested. She wanted me to ask you for another favor, as she's currently away at her taxidermists. At it her taxidermist? She has a personal one? ...with some information gathering on the red deer population. They're looking at how they are affected by the recent bison introduction into the reserve. Could you head past Bondorf Canyon and track down some red deer droppings? Those samples would help establish their movement patterns in the area. Yes. Oh, that's the explanation for the quest I've already accepted. Gotcha. Boop. One red deer. Okay, well, Fleischer 2 was not a difficult quest. Investigate the red deer's group of bears. Info in the area. Okay, so this one is in Bondorf Canyon. This one is also in Bondorf Canyon. So I've got a lot to do over in Bondorf Canyon, basically. Ah, uh, Boom Boom says she keeps a taxidermist on that farm where everybody's childhood pets live. That's dark! That's dark! But I, I, I can understand why someone might want a, a childhood pet taxidermied. I, uh, I had a bearded dragon and a lizard for most of my teenage years, and when it died I was obviously absolutely sort of inconsolable, and for a while I did consider uh, getting her, like, mounted as a skeleton. And the question of, like, is it, like, if I were to have this as a thing, would it be more comforting to have her there, or more gruesome to have her as a skeleton? Uh, and in the end I settled on it would probably be more gruesome to has, have her as a skeleton than it would be comforting to have her there. I think taxidermy and like, stuffing that preserves the skin is very... Very disturbing to look at sometimes. Okay, well, they've got a red deer over there, but I don't think I can cross them over here. Or possibly, like, at all. So, even though I really want to shoot it, I don't know if it's a good idea. <laughs> so, I might have to come all the way from over here. Boom Boom says some of the bad taxidermies are just oof. Yeah, I was in, so when I was in Bristol, uh, I spent the morning, uh, before I met up with CatCon and co, uh, at Bristol Museum. And they have uh, a fairly extensive, like, local natural history series in there. And they have a lot of taxidermied animals. And you can really see how there's... Some of them are, you know, quality, someone's taken time over them, and some of them are very sort of... I mean, partly they're just old, I think, as well, but they're not... They're not the best taxidermy one could ever ask for. Okay. Let's swap to this. See how I think we could do on the long-term shot, long-range shot. Uh, let's get down to business. Oh my god, we dropped him on the spot. Now. How do I get to him? <laughs> uh... This is way too deep. Okay. Right. We're gonna go on a bit of a road trip, guys. Guys, hang on. Uh, where's the best place to start from? 
Okay, the best place to start from is here. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't believe this. This is so stupid. <laughs> Just to get that one deer that I shot. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm going to do as well. I'm going to grab a tent and take it with me. Uh, whoops. Character. Big backpack. Yes, I want the backpack. Can I have a quad bike? Can I have a tent? Let's have an elite tent to fly. Or let's have a let's have a camo one so I can put down several of them if I need to. Now I need to turn down the volume for you guys, because this quad bike is loud. It's very loud. I need to turn down the volume for me as well. Okay, where are we going? Uh Okay, we're gonna go off road to here. And we are not gonna see any animals at all. For the next like ten minutes while we ride this thing. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay. Oh, Boom Boom has acquired pizza. I'm very jealous. I could do with pizza. I could also do with not smashing this thing into every tree I find. Uh, but that's not going to happen. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Hell, 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 hell. Uh, rock. Hell, rock tree. Oh no. It's fine. Ow. Different tree. Uh oh. Ow. I landed on my me. Um. Ow. Okay. Slowly down the hill, please. Slowly down the hill, please. Okay. It's fine. And we're on the road. Marvellous. Where the hell are we going from here? Okay. Uh... Oh. Gonna hop off very quickly. Got that. There's a bit of smoke coming from our quad bike, but I'm sure that's fine. Uh, okay, we're turning left here. And where are we going? Uh, okay, let's head up to this crossroads. And turn left at said crossroads. This poor bike's taking more of a battering than it normally does. There we go. Over the bridge. Speed up. Grab another zone. Right, okay. So we turn left here and go to there and then up to that corner.
Oh, that's a good spot to have found. A morning pheasant eat zone. Uh, are we there? Yes, we are. Okay. Do I want... No, okay. I'm gonna drive across to this off-road and probably put down a tent sort of near there. I wouldn't normally do this kind of a trek by quad bike, but uh, we're near the end of streaming time, and I need I want to get to this red deer carcass before it like is night time. Uh oh, uh oh. He slightly spun out there, it's fine. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Let's see, this is where all those Mario Karting skills are going to come in handy, right? Uh oh. Uh oh. With the drifts. And no, this is, this is not working at all. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going sideways. First I'm going left and then I'm going right. And we are technically advancing in the right direction. But only just. Uh, oh, this is another hunting stand. Did that roll? I, I, I would try for you, Boom Boom, anything. Uh, but I don't think my character would actually survive that. And I don't want to, to quad bike all the way out here again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Crunch. Crunch. Ow. Ow. It's fine. Right. Okay. Uh, let's put this tent on number six. Find a nice spot for it that's relatively flat so it doesn't despawn. Darn physics damage, yeah. Okay, and then... I'm kind of wondering, do I want to put my other tent actually up here? Yes, let's do that. It's a little bit of a detour. Ow. Through trees as well. <clears throat> okay, go between those without hitting either of them. Ideally. <laughs> Gently down the hill. Uh oh, uh oh. Rocks. Ah, there we go. There's a path here. We're 
gonna follow this up to the lookout point and put a tent up at the lookout point and then we'll go grab our deer. I guess seeing as we have acquired this lookout point, we have been this way before. Just not to like specifically where not 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 by that specific route necessarily. Uh And we're passing need zones that I've already marked on my map, so... Oh! Hello! Oh, no, you're big guys. You need this, and you need a uh, big arrow as well. Nope, I missed. Astonishing. Astonishing. Amazing look. Yeah, the bisons are the only creatures kind of stupid enough to let you get close on the quad bikes. Uh, I've never had it happen to me before, but that works quite, quite well, really, overall. I missed one shot. I think they've toned down how aggressive they are. Because I was sort of expecting that whole crowd to just come at me. And you are pretty fragile when you're on the quad bike. Like, I've been pushed off of the cliff by a rabbit before. Uh-oh. Hi. Don't you run away from me. Don't you run away from me. I'm not finished with you! I'm not finished with you! Where do you think you're going? That's better. You come back here! You come back this instant! There we go. That might be a different one, actually. Stand still. Bloody bisons. Can't get a bead on them. I don't want to just daka 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 off into the distance with this thing. Ugh. Grumble, grumble. Okay. You get to live by virtue of the fact that you wouldn't stand still. Uh. Which, I mean, really, is actually a very good argument for standing still if you are the bison in question. But we're just going to ignore that. Nice spot for a tent right there. Uh, put our antler at my back on six. Drop the tent. Drop the backpack. Double check that the backpack has actually dropped. It has, fantastic. Oh, I've already claimed that. that. Okay. Now, just to finish off the stream, we're going to quad bike down in that direction, and that'll that'll be where I wrap up. We've gone over just a little bit what I would normally do, but I was having fun. So. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh ha ha ha. Okay, okay, hill, rocks, hill, rocks, ow. It's 
fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, everything's still sort of fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is quite steep. Uh-oh. I nearly went over. I nearly went over. <laughs> okay, it's fine. We lived. We survived. Oh no, oh no, oh no, okay, 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 here we go. You you did nearly get your barrel roll, boom boom. Ah, uh, and you, you may yet. <laughs> ah, seagull. I will say, I haven't touched the accelerator in a while. This is all under gravity. <laughs> uh, that's quite a lot of gravity there. You know what? I think I'll walk the last 70 meters. <laughs> I think that'll be fine. Oh, it's so much quieter. It's so much quieter with that thing off. Uh, let's put the volume back up for you guys so you can hear the game properly. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, that's janky. It's because I had OBS open. Boom says, walking feels more health and safety. Okay, big old dearie boy. There we go. Oh, you, you, you've died in a very uncomfortable looking position. You've got a big old beard on you, haven't you? Blimey. There we go. Straight through the heart. Actually a bit lower than I was hoping to place it, but I suppose he was at a distance. Whew! And that is where we're going to call it for today. Uh, so on my part, uh, I have the usual little wrap up to do. So firstly, I want to say thank you everyone so much for watching. Uh, big thanks to Boom Boom for being around in the chat, for Shas to Shaskor for the same. Uh, we had some other people around in the chat a long time ago. Uh, we had Phase Ghost. Welcome Phase Ghost uh, as well. Uh, hang on. Am I hearing footsteps? Oh my god, I can hear footsteps in the game. Hang on, gang. Hang on, gang. Hang on. What animal is crazy enough to be here? No, okay, I think he's wandered off. I think he's done the smart thing and left. Scream Encore. Possibly. Possibly not. Okay, no, he's left. He's obviously run away. He knew what was good for him. Uh, he's completely interrupted my wrap-up, and I have no idea where I left off. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed watching, and you haven't already, please do drop a follow if you're here with me on Twitch. Uh, or if you're watching this in VODland uh, on my YouTube channel, do remember to leave a like, and maybe even subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with some more Heaven's Vault. I have no idea if it's going to be the last part of Heaven's Vault or not. Uh, with that game, I, I really can't tell. Boomer says, you're leaving everything to chat in your will. Uh, well, well, you can, you can come back to me on that one, I think, let's say. Uh, other than that, my name has been Dizzy. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all hopefully, next time. Ta-ra! Bye!